the global coverage you need anywhere at real time. We are offering a deal to accommodate the local event. Just send us an email for more information at livestream at bentelevision.com or call us on 020-8808-8800. Ben TV, Sky 182, Bridging the Gap. Welcome back to the Ben Breakfast Show. And if you're just tuning in, I am, of course, Kalisha Johnson. And this is another exciting episode of the Ben Breakfast Show. We have been talking about naughty gentlemen who make ladies pay absolutely unacceptable. But of course, I want to find out your opinions when the phone lines open. But moving on from that, I promised you an exciting guest. And I don't ever disappoint. I have with me in studio the amazingly beautiful and intelligent and should I say multi-talented because <laughs> she's looking at me and giggling multi-talented the chameleon as she is known I have <laughs> Nollywood actress Meg Otamwa <laughs> in the Ben Breakfast Studio how are you I'm very well thank you uh, how are you I'm very well thank thanks you for so having me. well thanks for coming <laughs> you know thanks for making time out of your schedule to come and say Hi to me, and of course, hi to our viewers <laughs> out there that are looking at you. Now, Meg, I know that you have gained uh, the reputation of, well, not the reputation, but the, the nickname, <laughs> the chameleon, because yeah. you're able to adapt to and, and really take on the roles that you've been given. Mm -hmm. you know, but before we go into all of the roles that you've been given, mm -hmm. who is Meg? You know, Meg Tawa, apart from being an Hollywood <laughs> actress, who is <laughs> Meg? <laughs> uh, that is one that is, uh, it, you know, it's just so difficult for me to talk about myself. I don't know why. I, I just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Meg is a, you know, a girl next door, really. That's the best way I can describe myself. I'm just a happy-go-lucky mm -hmm. person. I, um, I love, I love, I love people. I love life. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love my space at the same time. I love to be quiet sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate. I'm driven. I'm very passionate about what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about people around me. I'm mm -hmm. very passionate about life. I love that. You know. I absolutely <laughs> love that. I think it is important to be passionate about life because mm -hmm. some people actually don't realize the value of life and yes. the significance of it. Yes. And I know that you are not one of those people because <laughs> you have definitely lived your life to the fullest mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. I still living it. And still, still living it. You know. Exactly. <laughs> and you will continue to live it. Amen. Now, you know, you have been in so many different movies. Because <laughs> you know, I watch Nollywood. Even though I'm not Nigerian or African, <laughs> I love, 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 love Nollywood. And because um, my parents are from Trinidad oh. and Tobago. Oh, okay. Well, I was born in Brooklyn. But the broken English in mm. Nollywood is sort of similar to what we speak in Trinidad. Like, oh, really? So, yeah, so I can really flow with it. And plus, <laughs> I have loads of Nigerian friends. I can so imagine. So I've been adopted. I'm adopted Nigerian. You're, yeah, you, you you're know, half Nigerian now. Half Nigerian already. <laughs> I, I, all I'm waiting for is the, the full Nigerian name. Mm. You know, to be I'm going to give you one. I'll give you one. Give me one before the end of the yeah. show, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a promise, right? Yeah. Excellent. I'm sorry, give me one. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now, before, you know, you entered into should I say, notoriety as mm -hmm. a Nollywood actress. Mm -hmm. How did you actually get into acting? It's um, it's just, I, I don't know if to call it a funny story, because <laughs> <laughs> at the time, a mm. lot of people thought I was getting crazy. Um, uh, I, at the I, I, I used to work at the African Development Bank in Tunis. Tunisia. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I was there for a while, and then, um, I wouldn't say I just woke up one day and packed up my bags and went home. Mm -hmm. um, it was a plan. It was a for me. It was a process. Okay. You know, there was a point in my life where I felt at this point, I want to know this. I want to do this. I want to gain this experience. I want to travel the world. I want to learn stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, you know, I did all of that, and then there came a point where I felt, okay, this, I feel, is the perfect time for me to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to embrace Nollywood. I feel like I'm ready to. You know, I, I, you never gain enough knowledge, but at the time I felt like, okay, I think I've done pretty well. Mm -hmm. I'll, still, I'll still continue to learn, but at this point, I think I'm ready to embark on the journey of, you know, being an actress. Mm -hmm. To be honest, at the time, I didn't 
quite know for a fact that, that I was going to do it for a living. Okay. I just felt I'm so passionate about storytelling. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about Nollywood because I haven't traveled like different places and lived in different places. I had friends, mm -hmm. colleagues, schoolmates yeah. at, at some point mm -hmm. who loved Nollywood yeah. movies. <laughs> mm -hmm. And some of these people were even from fr Francophone countries. They couldn't wow. even speak yeah. a word yeah, of yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they watch our movies and just laugh. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm like, these guys really enjoy, you know? So I'm, I, 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 it was a, it was an industry I wanted to be a part of, mm -hmm. and I'd done a, a bit of stage from school. Okay, you know, I, I didn't study theater, mm -hmm. but in school I, you know, just happened to have done a stage play, and that was where I absolutely fell in love, and I knew I was going to do it again. Mm -hmm. You know, so at that point in my life, I felt this. At this point, mm -hmm. I want to be telling stories. I want to be acting. I want to impact the society, the world around mm -hmm. me by telling st stories mm -hmm. and by you know acting because I feel like there's so much power in what we do of course sometimes definitely. we actually don't realize how powerful mm -hmm. you know we are mm -hmm. we are impacting knowledge exactly. culture passing across things to it's people definitely. it's very powerful most definitely so I came to, to the point in my life where I felt like I was ready to do this mm -hmm. and I, I just I went for it amazing <laughs> amazing now please explain to me the trend how difficult the transition or easy rather mm -hmm. the transition from doing a, should I say, a nine to five mm -hmm. to the <laughs> unpredictable <laughs> world of, of, of entertainment because, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm living the example, <laughs> you know, I, I left literally just being a, a stable job, job to being freelance. Yeah. And it wasn't easy. Trust me. So what was your experience? <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't easy at all. And given the fact that I even had to leave, like, it was a different environment, an environment I'd been away from, you know, for a while. Mm. So it wasn't just switching jobs or industries. It was switching that plus environment. So okay. it was, like, really, really, it was tough. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Like, I was used to a structured life yeah. where <laughs> I made, I could plan. Yes. I could make plans mm -hmm. to travel. I knew, mm -hmm. you know, at this point or in so, so, so month, I was going to be away for mm -hmm. so, so time. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that I would go to work in the morning and come back home in the evening. Mm -hmm. And I just threw myself into this environment where I basically didn't even know, you know, what I was going to be doing the next day. Yeah. You can't even make plans, mm -hmm. or you make plans with friends, and last minute you have to cancel because of, oh, you have to attend this audition, yeah. you have to do this, mm -hmm. or you go for an audition, you get a call back, mm -hmm. and then you plan to travel, maybe go see family or friends. The next thing you get a job, like oh, I can't come. Yeah. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. But I'm glad I went through that phase. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I went through the process mm -hmm. because it, it, it contributed to you know, where I am today. Of course. Yeah, I, I believe that I'm here today because I went through all of that. Most definitely. And, you know, you are here today sitting in front of us as mm -hmm. a nominee for a very, very, very prestigious <laughs> award. Do you like to tell us a little bit about that? Oh, <laughs> gosh. That, and that, how that came about, actually. <laughs> it gets me pretty emotional mm. talking about it because growing up, you know, I grew up watching this, Actresses, mm -hmm. Bimbo Akitala, yeah. amazing, amazing, yes, talented yes. actress, uh, Rita Dominic. And I mean, these are people that I used to just watch and learn, I just admire to come into a point in my life where I'm nominated in the same category yeah. as these ladies. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We gotta pinch you <laughs> to let you know that it's real. You know, you know so I'm mm. so grateful mm. for where I am mm -hmm. and for where God is taking me because I believe He's taking me, you know, somewhere higher. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm overwhelmed, really, because I'm like, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying. I'm just doing my little bit. How did I get here? Mm -hmm. You know, so it just shows to me that God is watching. Definitely, God is watching, mm -hmm. and He re He rewards hard work Most and definitely. dedication definitely. you know and i know i'm going to you know places yeah. and i'm i'm just really so overwhelmed because mm. i'm like how am i in the same category mm. as this mm. amazing ladies mm -hmm. you know and i'm just grateful to god and i hope my story you know impacts young girls out there to just be focused mm -hmm. in life just have a focus have a goal and go for it and believe that you can do it believe that you can do it. don't let anybody tell you no in fact when they tell you no get up and do it mm. 
-hmm. That is when you should get up. That should motivate you because that was, it kept motivating yeah. me. Each time I got a no, I got stronger. Yeah. Each time <laughs> I got a, oh, sorry, you're not good enough. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be good enough next time yeah. you see me. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be better than yeah. what you want next time you see mm -hmm. me. So it kept me going and I'm just, I'm grateful to be here. You know, I, you know what I, I actually really like about you? I love the fact that you are um, so positive. You know, positivity <laughs> is, is something that is not common these days because mm. in a world full of negativity, negative influences, mm. um, negative role models everywhere, mm. it's really rare and quite refreshing. You know, when you <laughs> see a, a young lady who, despite your experience, you mm -hmm. have that humility. And that's what I, I genuinely love. I, I, I love people that are humble. And people that know me know I don't like people that are arrogant. <laughs> I, I tend to, to run away from those type of people. <laughs> I mean, even when I'm interviewing them, I kind of, you know, I kind of, like, I kind of, okay. I kind of, keep it you know. No, exactly. But, but I, I love the fact that you, despite your accomplishments, you remain so humble. What keeps Thank you grounded? You. Uh, life, mm. family, you know, I come from a very humble and loving family and I'm like, I can't, I can't even be otherwise than what I am. I mean, when I take a look at where I'm coming from and where I am and when I look around me, I mean, what is there in this life to be arrogant about, mm. you know, yeah. just take a, take a look around mm. you, take a look at the world around you. That is, if you're involved in the world around you. Mm you would see that there's really nothing to be arrogant about. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. that life in itself, yeah. if, you are a, if you are actively involved and aware of the world around you, mm -hmm. you have every reason to remain grounded. Most definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that. Thank now you. speaking of loving <laughs> something, you know, I love the, the fact that you can switch from being one type of character to mm -hmm. another you know <laughs> i've seen you in different many different roles you're mm -hmm. currently on um currently playing coco Yay. <laughs> on, <laughs> ebony, on ebony life television series and you know how did that even come about you know okay. I'm, I'm just trying to to get for the viewers i'm trying to ask the questions that they would probably want to ask you <laughs> okay. know how did you get um, on ebony life tv uh, how did you get it's actually TV? okay uh yeah, before that is mm -hmm. actually what's on ebony live right now yeah. i think uh hosh is on um, africa africa magic channel mm -hmm. yeah so uh it was it was it was it was the i don't even know how it happened mm. to be honest because at the <laughs> time I missed the initial auditions because no I was working, you know, at the outskirts <laughs> of Lagos when they had when they, they did the general auditions. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, it's not too bad, but you know, anyways, yeah. if my if it's mine, I will get it. Exactly. If I don't get it, then it's mine. Exactly. That's always yeah. been my, yeah. my principle. Um, and then at some point, like weeks later, mm -hmm. weeks after the initial audition, yeah. I got a, a an email. I was actually having a conversation with someone who got a call back, and I was asking her how it went, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Oh, it went very well. You know, they they like gives me like how many steps." Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, "Okay, fine, perfect." I'm like, "I just wished her, you know, all the best and everything." And then like days later, I got an email inviting me to read, oh, wow. and I'm like, "Oh, Coco, that's one of the lead characters. How come they're still?" Oh, I'm like, "Okay, great, yay!" Yeah. <laughs> so I, I took the sides and I worked on it, and you know everything. We just did my homework work and I went for it and I just I I honestly did not expect that I was gonna get it I didn't see it coming at mm -hmm. all I I can't explain it because at the point I did the audition like weeks after you know they had auditioned so many other mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. it just comes back to it when you work hard God sees you definitely you know Most he definitely. sees hard work and you know intentions and, mm -hmm. and everything that's the only thing it's just it's god really mm -hmm. it's not by my it's not by just talent yeah talent is a part of it but it's god's grace mm -hmm. god's grace and i'm just it's just a production i'm so grateful to god mm -hmm. that I was, I was able to be a part of because i got to work with like amazing people mm -hmm. I'm rmd which yes, i was yeah. like yeah. Ah. <laughs> you know yeah. so yeah so that, that was a very very good one i absolutely yeah. love that Thank now you. you know i always feel that um because I've interviewed many, many Nollywood actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. I mean, top actors and actresses here on this platform and mm -hmm. other platforms as mm -hmm. well. And the thing that I always ask is this, and I'm going to ask you. Okay. What, <laughs> what would you say are the things that can be 
should I say, improved mm -hmm. in Nollywood mm -hmm. or Gollywood to make it um, more impactful? Mm. Um, okay, I just, the, the issue with, or one of the issues I see with Nollywood is the lack of structure. Mm. Um, there is no structure per se. Mm. We have different guilds, you know, that are supposed to, that's supposed to be the actors guild, there's a producers guild, the directors guild. Mm. Th they've not, um, I don't think that these guilds have, you know, grown with time, mm. you know, because there's so many, so many actors today that don't even know what AGN is, yeah. you know, yeah. and we don't, we don't have a structure, like there is no, there's, th but to be fair, mm. the industry is not where it used to be. True, three, very true. Four, five years ago, <laughs> we've come true. a long way, and yes. I think there's there's still room for growth. I mean, we're still evolving, mm -hmm. but I'm just, you know, as an actor, I'm going to talk about the part that affects the actor. Yes. I just <laughs> wish that, you know, the the there is a, a platform or a forum that mm -hmm. the actor can actually go to. There's a voice that speaks for the actor. Mm -hmm. And then generally, I, I look forward to a point where we have a system in place where act, um, producers, mm -hmm. you know, are able to um, have access to funds because that's one of our biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that for producers in general and for actors, just a voice, a body that can speak mm -hmm. for the actors, a body that can defend the mm -hmm. actors because right now it looks like there's none. Of course. Yeah. Now, you know, again, just moving on from that, mm -hmm. I know that in in the UK here and um, in the United States where I'm from, mm -hmm. I know that the government and local bodies and local authorities like mm -hmm. put a lot of money mm -hmm. into entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. In the UK, the government puts billions, if not millions, um, mm -hmm. into improving the arts, into yeah. into music, into acting, especially because those are major things that people mm -hmm. know the UK yeah. for. What is, um, is the Nigerian government doing anything about that? Um, and are they tackling piracy? Because I know that that's a, that's that's a <laughs> huge issue. Yes, it's, it's still a problem. <laughs> it's still a problem. But mm. the last government, yes, they put they set up a, a, a body, you mm. know, to, uh, I, don't, I don't recall exactly how much, but they pumped quite, you know, some mm. money into mm -hmm. the industry mm -hmm. to help. And it did help. Mm -hmm. It's part of the reason why we are where we are today. Okay. But I feel like a lot more can be done. Mm -hmm. There is yeah. a lot more because the industry mm -hmm. is growing at an alarming rate. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot more can be done. They, they can afford to put a lot more. Mm -hmm. And because, especially because the industry generates so much revenue. It and it's one of the biggest you know, employers of labor. Definitely. You know, yeah. so it's 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 not an industry to be ignored. Most definitely. It's an industry to be taken seriously, yeah. and I just wish that this pre present government would take it, you know, would give it the, the attention mm -hmm. and focus that it deserves. Definitely. Yeah, and the issue of piracy, there's still, but today we have the cinema, we have cinema chains mm -hmm. where, you mm -hmm. know, they're different. Mm -hmm. So there are other, like, alternatives. I wouldn't say, you know, I, I don't know if anything is being done right now to curb, curb piracy, mm -hmm. but there are alternatives. You know, back in the day, it used to be straight to DVDs. Definitely. And once, <laughs> you, once, once you make you, your movie, your movies, are, your movies are out on DVDs. It's easy for them to pirate. True. Today, it takes longer because mm -hmm. your movie goes through, you know, the cinema mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. all different releases mm -hmm. before you finally come to yeah. DVD. Mm -hmm. So that kind of cushions the effect a bit, but it's the problem is still there. <laughs> Definitely. <Yeah. laughs> now, of course, you know, because I, I, I love Nollywood. As I mentioned, I absolutely love Nollywood. And again, how far it's come. Because I remember watching movies about, as you mentioned, more than five years ago. And I used mm -hmm. to just be like, no way. <laughs> what is going on here? You'd yeah. see like a hand. <laughs> you know, you'd see people taking five hours to die in the scene. Oh, and no. th this is how they'd be dying. They'd be like, okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> and they'll be, they'll be dying forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it That's definitely we've grown. Yes, we've things grown have so much, so much better. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, I think the top three: it's Hollywood, mm -hmm. Bollywood. Nollywood. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> so, are there any plans for you? to join the top two at any point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, never say never. Mm. But the, right now, I think my focus is in Africa. Yeah. I want I want to be a pan-African mm -hmm. actor. 
not just a Nollywood actor. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, I mean, I'm not saying if Nollywood, if Hollywood comes calling, hey, yes. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll be more than the, happy. You have the face, you Thank have you. The, the, the personality, and Thank you have the likability factor. And you also, you know, for people that don't know, this young lady here is not just a pretty face. She is also very, very intelligent. Thank and, you. you know, you have a lot of, <laughs> of, of credentials behind you. But one credential that I absolutely love is the fact that you're multilingual. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love languages. Like I, I speak several myself because oh, I've awesome. lived in a few different countries. <laughs> awesome. So when I saw that you speak, okay, you speak French, you, if I'm remembering correctly, you speak <laughs> Spanish. I understand. You're, okay, on, um, you're, I understand. Comprehend, you yeah. say, you comprehend Spanish. Um, Yoruba. I speak Yoruba, yeah. Uh, what else do you speak? <laughs> Idoma, obviously. Yes, your language. name language, yeah. Hausa, yeah. Wow. The thing is, I don't even take this, I don't take it seriously because, like, my dad is, when it comes to, you know, languages, languages he's yeah. someone I look up to because he speaks, like, nine different languages oh my fluently. Wow. Yes, fluently. That is fantastic. Yeah, so I look at him like, oh, gosh, I want to I wanna be like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And That's I, I love languages mm. as well. I love languages. Mm. So have you had the opportunity to use them in your um, in yes. any of your acting things? yes yes French I have used um, and actually have a few offers from some French speaking countries for, yeah, sometime this year so I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it so yeah. you never know we might we might have to have some titles here <laughs> I know right you know, so before we go and as we start to round up what would you say has been the highlight so far mm -hmm. of your career you know if you had a one defining moment what would it be so far ah, <laughs> ah. i think this this amvca nomination mm -hmm. i think to be honest um because like i said like I'm in the same category as this amazing mm. actresses people i i used to look i still look up to them because yeah. it's ladies are amazingly talented so it, it has to be that mm -hmm. work wise it would be uh, a couple of productions this year mm -hmm. you know hush definitely yes. and then the movie i have coming out goza okay which addresses a subject matter after my heart girl child education in africa yes definitely and the issue of insurgency and all of that and it's a pro I'm, I'm from the middle belt mm -hmm. uh, north central okay nigeria and um, it's an issue I'm aware of. And to be able to tell a story, you know, t that kind of story. So mm -hmm. for me, it's like it was ordained. Like this, mm -hmm. I, I, it was just, I, I get too excited mm -hmm. talking about I can, it. I can sense the excitement. <laughs> so definitely. I'm like, God, <laughs> thank you that I got to be able to tell, you know, I was chosen to tell the story. Mm -hmm. So work-wise, yes, definitely Goza and movie coming out sometime mm -hmm. this year. And then um, AMBC nomination. Yeah. Where were you when you got the, when you found out you'd been nominated? I was shooting. Were you like on a, on a were you talking on the phone or were you chilling? Okay, this is the story. So um, I was on a set. Goza said actually we okay. were shooting in Joss, Plata yeah. State, Nigeria. And then it's some village, like some remote village. Where, village yes. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we're just shouting. We heard somebody got a nomination and we're shouting. We're excited. Yeah. I'm like, oh, awesome, you know. And then I, I, took, I picked my phone after the excitement yeah. and I saw a message there. Oh, congrats on your nomination. I was like, oh, it's not, I'm like, oh, it's not me. Yeah. It's so, 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 and so. Because yeah. I thought she was talking about the nomination. Yeah. We're rejoicing about me. She, she just heard. Yeah. And she thought it was me. Yeah. And I said, oh, no, sorry, it's not me. It's so, so. <laughs> she said, no, Meg. I said, huh? I said, it's not me. I don't. I don't have any movie that was entered yeah. for the awards. She's like derailed. And I said, "What? What? Yeah. <laughs> it's you!" I like, what? I, and then people started screaming, and I was just like, "I love it." How der derailed? How? Because oh. it's a, a very small budget movie mm -hmm. that you wouldn't even expect. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know it was entered. Wow. So it just came from nowhere. nowhere. And for like five minutes, I was just there. I'm like. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you didn't faint. No, no I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I didn't, at least you didn't <laughs> faint. But trust me, I was Good. in shock. I'm still in shock. I, 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 I think the body. I'm like, Dude. I'm like, God, wow, thank you. How do, How can we vote? Oh, we chat. Oh, please. You know guys. what? Let, let me. Let me. I uh, know I'm not allowed to be uh, voting on air, but let's vote right <laughs> oh now. My God. How do we vote? Please, you have to download it. You have to download. I have to download it. something. Yes, oh, we chat. Uh, or if you're already WeChat. on WeChat. WeChat. No, yes. I'm not on WeChat. Hold on. <laughs> let me download. Okay, so as I'm doing it, you can do it at home. Please we're guys. doing. We're downloading WeChat. Yes. Okay. So download WeChat. Okay. Yes, and then you search African Magic TV mm -hmm. and. 
you see AMBCA 2017, you click on it, you will get a code, a verification code. You enter the code and you'll be able to vote. So you, you find, you look for best actress in a movie, um, in best actress in drama slash TV series, Meg Otangwa for Derailed. Guys, get voting. I'm counting on you all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do this during the break because yes, <laughs> if y'all let me do it, they're going to stop my voting, but it's not going to work. Well, guys. <laughs> I definitely will be voting for, for Meg. Now, as we can see, we have a little um, image of you with the how people can vote. Oh. And, you know, I think it is f phenomenal that you are so hardworking, that you are so focused on where you want to be. Where do you see yourself in the next five five ten years um, um for me really it's i never see i i believe that we're here for a higher purpose i believe that i'm here on earth not just for me mm -hmm. but to serve definitely so i try that's how i try to live my life like what can i do today what can i do to impact my world mm -hmm. you know not just about personal stuff no it's always about what can i do mm -hmm. so in future i see myself or i would like to be in a position where right now i believe that in my own little way i can influence people i can impact people mm -hmm. but i want to be able to do that on a larger scale Definitely. you know where girls little girls in different places even in remote villages hear about my name and my story and they're motivated and they know that they want to do it. Mm -hmm. They want to grow up to be somebody. Mm -hmm. They want to impact the world around them. Because if one girl from one village believes that she can do that and she goes ahead to do it, mm -hmm. she's impacting her own community. Definitely. You know, and then she, if she impacts one girl and that girl impacts another girl, the you know. So I just want to be at that place where I'm able to positively influence people with my work and mm -hmm. my existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Meg, whether you know it or not, you are already a role model, a positive role model, should I add. Um, and I believe that the sky is definitely the limit. You Thank know? you so well, much. I, I know that we are yet to see <laughs> the, 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 in the level of greatness that mm -hmm. you are yet to achieve. You Thank know, you. It's, it's only the beginning, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I know in a lot of people's eyes, they might be like, oh, my God, you know, she's so experienced. She's so established. But I, yeah, I, I, I know that there's there's so much more. There's much more. Thank you. Much, much more. And <laughs> I wish you all the best all right. in the awards. And I definitely will be d downloading this app that's trying to stop me I'll from voting. <laughs> but it's not going to happen. I will be voting today <laughs> for you. But before you go, mm -hmm. please let the viewers know how they can follow you or stalk you, you okay. know, on social media <laughs> and get in touch. <laughs> okay, guys, you can follow me on uh, Facebook, um, Snapchat, Instagram, at Meg Otangwa. M E G O T A N W A at Meg Otangwa is one word. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. And for wish you all the best. Me. And I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much for having Thank me. You. Thank you. So, we're going to go for a very quick break after being joined by the beautiful and multilingual and intelligent Meg Otanwa. Please get voting and don't go anywhere. It is still the Ben Breakfast Show. And after the break, we will be having Caribbean news with Lavina Brown. <laughs>